TNN, the Tragic News Network, with your anchor, Roland. Hey, it's Roland. Dayline Tokyo, Japan. A man armed with a knife has killed seven people and injured ten others in a busy shopping district that is popular with tourists. <laughs> <laughs> the police arrested 25-year-old Tomihiro Kataku, who told, uh, told police that uh, he was tired of life and came there to kill people. <laughs> The suspect drove a rented truck into a crowd. <laughs> um, he drove it, his uh, rented truck into the crowd and then got out and started randomly stabbing people. <laughs> uh, killing six men between the ages of 19 and 72 and a 21-year-old woman. <laughs> Canada, more tragic news. Yeah, Canada. Oh, Canada. <laughs> Elementary school children playing in the backyard of a quiet Canadian suburb made a grisly find. They discovered a suitcase filled with disembodied human body. <laughs> the, the kids saw a headless, armless, and legless corpse. <laughs> uh, Eleven-year-old Tommy Williams found the suitcase. It was uh, the first to open it and see the body. He says the the smell was so bad that he threw up twice. <laughs> Ran home to tell his mom. Patricia Williams said her son appears to be doing well for the moment, but added, I hope he doesn't have uh, no nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> and then more tragic news. Yeah. Uh, and right here in New York City, a tragedy is revealed in court. A uh, Columbia University graduate student who was raped, beaten, and burned last. <laughs> <laughs> With rape being burned last year, testified Friday, she thought she would die after a 19 hour nightmare began. <laughs> <laughs> the 24 year old woman said she resisted uh, when her attacker forced his way into the Manhattan apartment and grabbed her. <laughs> when uh, when he put the chokehold on me, I started to black out. I, I thought I was going to die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the victim said, I wanted to survive, so I did what I. I told him what uh, I did. What he told me, the attacker raped sodomized her, <laughs> slit her eyes, threw bleach in her eye. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> bleach her eyes, uh, a massive dose of painkillers, and caused <laughs> liver failure. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Any more tragic news? Mm -hmm. uh, more tragic news in Florida. Hillsborough County officials say a woman was hit and killed by a car after getting out of her own car to check out the owl she had. It's <laughs> 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 accidentally hit. The sheriff. Uh, where is it? The sheriff's office said six-year-old Jean Pierce was driving Sunday night in the Killsville near Tampa where she hit an owl in the middle of the road. <laughs> hit out in the middle of the road and pulling over and checked the bird. She was hit by another vehicle. <laughs> oh. Pierce, Pierce died at the scene. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no charges have been filed yet against a driver who has not been identified. The accident is still being investigated. Mm -hmm. uh, and um. <laughs> looking for more news. Oh, it's the same one. Any more tragic news? A four-year-old girl had shot herself at Sam's Club in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> And now it's critically in a now critical condition. <laughs> According to the police, the girl was being taken around the store in a shopping cart by her grandmother. Police say the grandmother had a gun in her purse. <laughs> uh, while the grandmother was pushing the girl near a pharmacy area, officers said the little girl took out the gun out of the purse and shot herself in the chest. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Come on. 
uh, um, the girl, uh, the girl emergency surgery Monday afternoon. Police had, uh, have been told by the family members of the girl suffered no damage to her major organs. Uh, <laughs> 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 They said the grandmother has um, a valid weapon permit. No charges have been filed in the case. Dummy. And pretty much in more tragic news. A bond hearing is scheduled today for a South Florida man who police said hurled his mother's dog to his death from a four-story balcony. <laughs> um, authorities say 50-year-old Carlos Vieira was charged with animal cruelty yesterday morning after throwing the dog off the balcony of Kendall's apartment. <laughs> <sighs> uh, Vinta told police he was depressed about his divorce and took his anger out on the dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and more tragic news. Mm-hmm. Police say that they have um, indicted a man suspected of being a serial rapist who uh, preyed on the elderly in Wayne County. (laughs) Uh, DNA and other forensic evidence helped authorities identify the suspect and possibly solve the crime against senior citizens that spanned 11 (laughs) years. Uh, Kendron is a quiet rural community in southeast Wayne County where several break-ins and sexual assaults against elderly women in in their 70s, 80s, 90s took place. <laughs> In two of the ten attacks, the suspect disguises himself as a pizza delivery man. Uh, Tom Richhouse faces multiple charges of rape and attempted rape. <laughs> And last story. Last Let's story go. in this tragic news from yeah, Australia. Almighty. Yeah, I know. We really know how to take something and just no kidding. Just jeez, crash it into a building. <laughs> uh, tragic news from Australia. A handicapped elderly man is in critical condition after a neighborhood ran him over and left to go shopping. Trooper <laughs> 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 say Dana Greco was backing her Cadillac out of the driveway at the same time her neighbor Thurman McGall. 74 was using his cane to walk down the street. Police say she backed into him and made <laughs> I realized it. <laughs> she then went to the store and came back and forth what she had done. Neighbors who helped out said that they don't know how this could happen. Uh, you see blood all over the victim. <laughs> <laughs> Charles Cripps, <Kripke, laughs> he was laying pretty still. His walker, his cane, was pretty laying pretty still. He wasn't moving. <laughs> She was driving a big SUV, and it was black, uh, with tinted windows, and you can't see out of them. You think she feels something, but it possibly she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> this has been the Tragic News Network, with your anchor, Tickle Me Rollins. Let's say hi to Kevin in New Jersey. Kevin, what's up? Oh, no more. Yeah, you know what? I'm laughing my butt off, and I don't know why. What is wrong with this guy? What has he got? Uh, he he's very ticklish. So uh, <laughs> just to tear down a wall today for the last time, Danny tickles him as he does the tragic news. And if you think it's a, if you think he's making this up, you got to see the videos. It's yeah. very obvious that he can't can't handle someone tickling him. No. Yeah, and then you got Pierce Mark from Wackbag. He writes, "I like the, the fir- <laughs> I like the first six minutes of the bit. The last eleven minutes might have uh, dragged a bit." <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Good job, guys. All right, thank you. Uh, let's go to Brooklyn Ace. Brooklyn Ace, what's up? Good morning, boys. How are you, uh, sir? Roland, those are some sad stories, man. You're laughing at them. Yeah, why are you laughing at what's those uh, yeah. stories, there, Roland? Oh, because people are tickling me. I don't believe that for a second. I think you just think they're funny. Because okay. <laughs> people are tickling me. <laughs> yeah. My favorite part of that is obviously Roland being tickled, but even more so, it's his abominable pronunciation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's bad. Just, just, it's just <laughs> You terrible. almost don't understand what he's reading. Met, Metsito, it, it's... Mind boggling. Canna. 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 Canada. Instead of Canada, he says Canna. 
it's like you take like what you like to do is take words that have bumps in them and just yeah, smooth, smooth them out. Them out. <laughs> Canna. Like you just you don't Canna. have time with the. This is, this is Canna. They're calling you dumb Deloise. <laughs> <laughs> A dumb Deloise. <laughs> Gotta give Kevin from Connecticut credit for that one. That's a good one. <laughs> people either love the bit or hate the bit. Yep. More people loving the bit, but there's definitely 